Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at cattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a jellyfish. I take two fingers in the center, right underneath I put a dot. From the dot going towards the left, I draw a curved line down on the left, come back to the dot, curve line down on the right. Come back to the left and draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line, connect. Come right about here and put one dot, two dots, in a big curve line, little curve line, little curve line. Now starting on the left, I draw a curve line down, or maybe it's a wavy line. Wavy line down, connect, that's one, come in the center, wavy line down, Come back to the top, wavy line down, connect, and over here on the right, wavy line down, come back to the top, wavy line down, connect. Now come inside and just draw a wavy line and a wavy line right in between, jump over, wavy line wavy line in between. Now if you still have room, like maybe right here you could just add another wavy line or over here you can just add another wavy line. You can add as many as you need. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, I like this project because it's very pretty. So I get my dark blue crayon and the first thing I'm going to do is do a light loop-de-loop -loop that's when you color around and around all the way around the first edge and then on my ribbons, these are almost like ribbons, I'm going to color one side with that dark blue. This is the part that's encased and closed. My second one is right here. So I'm kind of doing this also so I can see better that these are the ones that are closed wavy lines and one more over here. So we're going to do our dark blue all the way down. Then, if you have a blue-green turquoise, you come in and you fill the inside part all with blue-green. So we're getting a blend of the two blues. And it's very pretty. Then, come over to your closed wavy lines and do the opposite side. Loop-de-loop, -loop, so it gives it a little bit of texture all the way down with your blue-green. Now what's good about this is because we're just using different colors of blue, if they crash into each other they blend and that looks nice. Okay? Now I take two different colors. Starting on this side on the left I'm going to take my purple and just draw wavy lines right where I drew, drew my first set of wavy lines all the way down keep going so this is really more of a coloring project than anything all the way down and then I come back in with a pink and I color that I color, draw that wavy line again and again if it crashes into the purple it's okay because they're pretty much close to the same color family all the way across down now, if you want to do a different color combination, maybe with greens and yellows, you can do that. It's really up to you. This is a fun blending color project. Let's see what this looks like all colored in. Here's my jellyfish all colored in. I had somebody say, Miss Fernandez, that looks like unicorn colors. So maybe my jellyfish has got unicorn colors. Okay, bye-bye.